Inside Airbnb is an incredible tool that I dip into from time to time. At the moment, it suggests that today, the 1st of March, there's 25,303 vacant properties available to rent uh, on Airbnb. 16,181 of those in Ireland today are categorised as entire homes. And then if you drill down to County Clare, where I'm from, it's 1,404 vacant properties, of which 995 are homes. I met with some of the Airbnb community representatives on Monday night, and they were telling me that the entire home heading uh, isn't truly representative. Some of these could be uh, yurts, they could be uh, standalone shelters, prefabricated units and gardens. Could you just explain to us how the entire home heading works within Airbnb? And if you can offer commentary then on um, what I've just said there in terms of how many of these units might truly be available tonight. Thanks, Happy to clarify the, the definition. So we have two ways, of, three ways of classifying your listing on Airbnb. Uh, it's a private room in your home, or it's a shared room in your home, or it's an entire home listing. An entire home listing can be anything from a part of your house that you've, 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 you've cordoned off uh, to a lot of people convert it a ground floor, anything that, has, that you're, you're private in your space. So it's not necessarily the case it's a standalone dwelling house. Um, anything that's on the curtilage of your house, be it a granny flat, uh, a converted barn, uh, a yurt, as you say, uh, a cabin, a tree house, uh, all kinds of the different supply that we have will all turn up as entire home listings on our platform. So it is that entire plethora of, of, of events. And then you also have to look at the, the different kind of composition as well. Um, for example, in County Clare, uh, a lot of our hosts would tell us that um, they, uh, they have... Uh, it's a, it's, it's a granny flat in their property, um, or it's, a, it's someone's existing holiday home that has been there for years, sure. um, that they use during the summer and they use maybe during Easter, and then when it's not being used, it's used to, sh to, to short-term rental to supplement the income. Um, so it's would, all there, would Airbnb responses. have a mechanism through which to further refine that heading? Because I do think that data set certainly feeds into public policy a bit. It gets spoken about at council meetings, it gets spoken about in the Shannon and the Dáil. Indeed, now we're looking at a block of legislation. And when people look at that headline figure of 25,303 vacant properties across Ireland, they suddenly say, well, do you know what? Overnight, if we had a policy decision here, we could solve not all of the housing crisis, but a lot of it. And I think that figure isn't truly reflective of what is available in Ireland tonight. Um, is there any way as an organisation, and all of this shouldn't fall on you, of course, there is government and departments of housing and the social protection that's lifting here, but I think it would help your organisation, indeed the tourism industry, but it would also help us as legislators if there was a little bit more defining of where that headline figure is at. Could, could you do that? Uh, Deputy, I think, I think what the, great, the great thing that you, you point out is that, we, that, that, is that you know, of our listings, um, it's a whole range of events. It's, it's people sharing their own home. So uh, of any figure, it's people sharing their own home, it's, it's people, uh, a granny flat, it's all of those different pieces. One of the great things about being here talking about registration uh, is that registration in every country in which we work with legislators and about, about um, short-term rental policy is the key to all of those answers. Um, you know, it will give data on how many people, nice people are staying in properties that you know, um, you know where they are and give people a better sense of, of the market in their areas. And I think that that's why we're, we've always been and have been and, and, and to this day are very big supporters of registration. And getting registration right, I think, is, is, the, is the good thing because it will give that data and that um, whole picture of the entire industry because it's not just obviously Airbnb operating in this market, Expedia and Verbo are there and a lot of other, other players. And getting that whole sense of the market, I think, will give that data that people and policymakers are looking for.